Hey friends, how's it going? Hey friends. <laughs> I love that sign, it makes me giggle. How you guys doing today? Um, just puttering in the saw shop, cleaning up a little bit, bench is a mess, um, tinkering. Been doing lots of yard work this weekend. I hauled water again, went to the dump. You guys know those kinds of things. And uh, it's nice to be in the saw shop, uh, taking care of some loose ends and uh, puttering. I'm super excited, friends. I got my Wolf Creek Saw Shop order. Um, if you guys haven't been over there, uh, please go check out wolfcreeksawshop.com. Um, Ryan has been super good to this channel. I, friends, for a long time, I was having trouble getting a good, reliable supply of parts from, from anybody. And I heard about Wolf Creek through the grapevine, the way you guys would, you know, your buddy orders parts and you say, where'd you get those parts from? And uh, uh, I've been ordering from them and I'm super, super happy with the service. Quick on the emails and they ship usually right away, you know, I've had no trouble. So, and, and a lot of you guys out there have reached out and said, hey, Tin Man, I order from Wolf Creek too. They're, they've been great to me. So, um... For those of you that have gone over there and, and and looked at what they had and bought some parts, I really appreciate that. Um, helping those that help this channel means a lot to me, so um, it's just a good deal. You guys are good folks out there, and uh, I really appreciate you guys checking out Wolf Creek. A lot of the parts on this channel come from Wolf Creek, so... Um, if you guys want to recreate some of my builds, um, your best bet is to go over to Wolf Creek and those parts are more often than not from Wolf Creek. So got another shipment of Highway and Meteor and uh, I ordered a DZE coil. I'm going to try one of those coils for my 272. I actually robbed the coil off my 272 for the 268 giveaway saw. Um, that was an OEM coil. I threw it in there. The coil on the 268 quit at some point. I don't know. I don't even know if that thing had spark when I got it, but no big deal. I'll rob an OEM coil off of one of my saws to get one of your guys' saws going. So no, no harm, no foul. I got lots of saws. So anyhow, um, I'm going to open up this box, show you guys what we got, and let's have a look at what's in there. Let's have a look at Highway and Meteor. Okay. What did we get here? I ordered some uh, SKF bearings. Uh, I'm having trouble getting SKF bearings for my local supplier, so I've been ordering them from Wolf Creek and uh, 272. Let's have a look at these things. These are 6202 C3. Um, I use SKF, Nachi, or um, FAG, which those are Italian bearings. SKFs are top quality. Any of you guys that have run bearings know. Um, I've had no trouble with these. Let's open one up and see what we got here. If I can get it open, there you go. These are, these are good, good quality bearings. And, uh, I tend to do bottom ends on my saws. If I can get this open. <laughs> Where's my knife? I tend to do bottom ends on my saws, friends. Um, if I'm in a... Oh yeah, these things are smooth as glass. Let's see if you guys can see that on there. I don't know if it's going to show up. 6202C3. Okay, those will go with your uh, 266, 272, 61s, uh, 372, 365. You guys know the deal. Oh, nice. Uh, I ordered... These are highway bearings. I thought maybe I would try them on a project. I'm not sure. I don't think Fab Willie Saw needs these bearings, but these are actually these are actually uh, still bearings from highway. Let's feel what one of these looks like. I've never used these bearings, so uh, I'd like to try them and, and see what the deal is. Let's see what they feel like. Well, they feel good to me. Made in Taiwan. Uh, any of you that know machine tools, Taiwan makes quality stuff. And uh, Taiwan don't scare me. Oh, they're stopped. 62. This is 6203 C3. 
They feel nice, that's for sure. Well, that feels like a good bearing to me. So, and this is a 6202 C3. Okay, for the old 38. I may put these in Fab Willie's saw. Um, his bearings feel really good though, but we got, uh, got crank seals for 038. It's nice, it actually says the size 17 by 39 and a half by 5. That's cool. I like that. That makes it a little easier if you want to know what size your bearings are. Okay, uh, another set of 272 and... Here are the bearings and seals for our 394 that we're going to do. So, beauty. Wolf Creek, thank you. Just going to pack these back up and we'll keep going. Here's that DZE ignition coil for a 272. Let's see what we got here. There you go. I'm going to try that on one of my saws. Why not? And if it works, there you go. We have a viable option. Looks okay. So nice, interesting. That uh, that 272 that I built on the channel, I was never happy with that saw. It just it was okay. I think I know what the problem is. We're gonna rip that saw down in the near future, and let's pick apart my work and have a look at what it's doing. Okay, so DZE. Okay, next up is a meteor top end for a 395 you can see 395s are quad port i'd like to have a look at a 394 and 395 uh, top end side by side and we can show the difference again another quality meteor piston i really like meteor pistons always have Fitment's beautiful in that piss or in that cylinder. So there you guys go. Uh, Meteor 395 top end. I like Meteor. I've used Meteor for the whole time I've been working on chainsaws and quality. And again, you can get this stuff, all this stuff from Wolf Creek. The nice thing is, friends, is that they're priced right. I mean, I know a, a lot of people say, well, OEM, yes, but on a lot of these saws, and if you're a hobbyist, it, it's it's not cost effective to use OEM all the time, and, and a lot of these saws I work on, you can't really get OEM anymore. $3.95 with a pop-up. I was thinking about putting this in my 394 there. But if I do, I think we're gonna, it's uh, it's cold in here, friends, so you can see there's some humidity on here. I think what we'll do though, is uh, I'll probably cut this pop up deeper because we're, we're really gonna wring that thing's neck, so might as well go all out. And again, cable rings. Any of you guys that that uh, have used cable rings probably know they are quality. Some would probably say they are top of the line. Okay, continuing on, I ordered a couple of 272 top ends. And they come with cable rings, gasket, spark plug, and a decomp plug. So right there, that, that saves you shopping around on the internet looking for parts. Let's have a look at this. I love to unbox these on camera so you guys can see the quality. If I didn't like this stuff, I wouldn't use it. Um, I just wouldn't. So, okay, wrist pin. Let's see what we got here. Sear clips are stuck in there. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Okay, pop up. And again, friends, it's it's uh, it's a little chilly in here and humid, so. Okay, let's have a look at this cylinder. Mm, nice. Notice the cylinder has been honed. Which is funny because 
We just did that video on honing cylinders. Okay, that's a good looking cylinder right there. A little bit of flash in there, but we're gonna port it anyway, so. There's the exhaust port. This is the same top end that I put on the 268 giveaway saw. And it's nice, they're marked now, so there's no, there's no confusion about what top end you have on your saw. Friends, these are just, these are looking better and better and better every time I get some. They're, highways really, really step up their game. And again, we've, we've used these on the channel. You guys have seen them. And, you know, if I, if I didn't believe that these were any good, I wouldn't spend hours porting them. You guys know what I mean? I wouldn't spend hours porting them if they were going to fail. And I, I've really had no trouble with them. And I've talked to hundreds of you out there that have also had no trouble with them. So here's a top end I've never ordered from Highway. Wanted to compare timing on a Highway top end versus an OEM. Again, decomp plug or a spark plug. Now. One thing I do kind of like about the highway top ends is they do have a decomp. So if you have an 038 Magnum and you find it hard to pull over, you can put an MS380 top cover on it in one of these and there you go. This one is not cable rings, I believe. These are the highway rings. That's just how they come, which is fine. Again, I've had no problems with the highway rings. I find they seat good, good compression. Wrist pin. There you go. Flat top, highway 038 to piston. Looks pretty good. I've never been inside one of these. Let's have a look. See if it'll focus. Focus. There you go. Looks good to me. Notice the intake has that little thing sticking out. A little bit of flash in there. Here, I want to show you guys something. At top dead center. At bottom dead center, a lot of these saws like this, the ring might slightly get into the intake. So what ends, what they do is they put that in there to force the ring in. Okay. So what I would like to do is put this, I'm going to use this piston for sure in Fabuli saw. Because that piston's pretty wore out and that thing will hold that. And uh, I would like to put both cylinders on that saw and time an OEM versus a highway is there better timing numbers in the highway better in the oem um some of you guys aren't going to port so what i would like to do is say okay because that's the thing these highway cylinders have been very consistent i'll order them in batches and um they seem to time pretty bang on with each other so um you know, maybe you don't want to port, but you want to know, will my saw maybe run better or the same with an aftermarket top end? Well, the only way to know is to find out. And I ordered. Now, friends, I really like my 50 millimeter 266 builds. Um, I... I tend to, I, I, I like the way they make their power. Let's open this up. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is I'm going to do a 50 millimeter 266 build. I've done a couple on the channel, but nothing recently. And I would like to really step up the power on one of these. I like these cylinders. They're nice. Uh, port timing's pretty good on them. So they're, uh, they're they're good. I can't remember what these run. I think they're like 125 bucks or something like that. 120 bucks. And I mean, th this is good stuff. Pop up. 
Single ring piston. This is a 268 piston. 266, the old ones have a full skirt. Okay, and a nice little pop-up on there. So, in the future, I'm going to do another 266, or maybe I'll do a 61 with one of these top ends on them, and I will... We'll do a machine work orangutan build. We'll do a, we'll take a junk saw off the bench and completely completely go through it and make it into a, an orangutan. A, a lot like that John Thread 630 that I run on the channel. Uh, that saw has all the moves. Uh, it has a large pop-up, uh, machine work on the cylinder. Lots of port work, big transfers, and a big carburetor. And you guys see how that thing runs. It's a monster. Let's keep going. Another thing Wolf Creek carries, these are OEM Walboro carburetor kits. Keeps them in stock, uh, reasonably priced. These are for the 394. So um, he carries a lot of different things. I'm going to open this one before you guys see it. He carries a lot of different things. And go, go in there and have a look-see. And uh, you'll be surprised if you're if you're into vintage and newer saws. He has parts for uh, newer saws. Um, go in there and have a look. Another thing I ordered: NWP uh, West Coast side cover. Let's throw that on my 461 right now and just have a look. I do a lot of noodling, and I find the OEM uh, chip guard clogs up a lot so i wanted to try one of these again all from wolf creek this is awesome let's let's bolt this thing on okay just grab the 461 i love this saw but i find that the chip guard could at least something to be desired and i'm not even going to take the dogs off right now I throw this on there. This is going to be a nice uh, upgrade. Throw this back on there. Saw these on the website and I went, wow, and they're they're quite reasonable, friends. Um, I don't I don't know what the still ones cost, but anything still here is usually very expensive, so um there you guys go. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Bring you guys in here. Oh, that's nice. Well then, I like that. That's a that's a good looking that's a good looking upgrade. And again, it'll there's no ribs in here, so it'll clear chips a lot better. It's got a super heavy duty flap on it too. Chip flap. It's really cold, so it's a little stiff right now. But it'll uh, it'll uh, loosen up as time goes. I'm sure. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Last but not least, a couple of gasket sets. Again, we're going to be building some more 61, 268, 272, 266 type saws. I use these like crazy. Uh, I really like these highway gasket sets. It's got everything you need in it and nothing you don't. And uh, they work good. These crank seals work amazingly. I've had zero problems with them. I've been using these for a couple of years now, I guess. And... Uh, for the price of these, you, you can't beat it. So, there you guys go. It's awesome. Okay, friends. That was a pretty good unboxing. That was fun. So, there you guys go. Uh, I just, I like to show you guys the things that I get from Wolf Creek. Unbox them in real time. You can see what they look like, how they're packaged. Uh, if you're looking for Meteor or Highway, please go try Wolf Creek Saw Shop out. Ryan's a great guy over there and he's taking good care of me. So, and he's taking good care of a lot of my friends. So if you're looking for this stuff, please go over and check Wolf Creek. Tell him the Tin Man sent you. I'll put a link in the description below. Anyhow, 
As always, thanks for watching. Take her easy. Later.